Your boat and motor is a big investment, so you want to look after it from the start to make sure it stays in tip-top condition to give you plenty of life. Now the first thing you need to do is give it some protection from the salt water. Salt water, air, steel, not a good combination with no protection. So what we're going to do first before we even take this boat out on the water is spray the, uh, the motor with some silicon spray and lubricant. Gives it that good film between the two. Even simple things like if you've never taken the cowl off before, know where the latch is and know you've got to tip it forward to get the hook at the back. The other advantage of this too is by giving it a spray you get to see what your engine actually looks like. You get to see in this case the four stroke, where you add the oil, where your spark plugs are, where all the metal parts are. So it gives you a good understanding of the motor before you even get out on the water. Now the idea is you want to put that protective coating over everything. So a little bit windy today. That's why we're not out in the water. So all those metal parts, and probably should do this every couple of months, and you'll find that a year or two later you can take the cowl off, and you'll find that that lubricant has done its job, and you end up with no rust in here. The other beauty of it too is when you do take it to your mechanic, he's going to be able to get all the nuts and bolts on and off and there's no rusted nuts that can snap or, or whatever because they've been neglected and rusted. So give that a good spray over. And even after a while when you're doing that, the beauty of it is you're looking exactly where you're spraying so you might see or pick up a problem in there and uh, when you take it into your dealer for a service you can say, hey listen, there's a bit of a problem here. Don't forget in under here too because this part is often quite neglected. You get salt water pushing up in here. Make sure you get those nuts and bolts under there. All your hydraulic rams. First time round, give it a real good spray. So what I've got here are the sacrificial anodes, they're a zinc bar. So they're designed to corrode and rust away first, minimising the corrosion that you get on your motor. So if you see all these all pitted and, and that, it's time to have them replaced. So on the back here, you've got your little touch. Slip that down on first. It's a little slot there for it, lock down and then latch it up. So it doesn't even hurt to give the outside of your cowl a spray, even though that won't rust, just a bit like a bit of polish. And I always use the same rag every time. That way you get a bit of a film on your rag and you can just give it a wipe over. And as I said before, by doing this, you're actually looking at where you're doing, so you pick up any of those problems. The same goes for when you're washing your boat, inside and outside, you might pick up some broken wires, uh, bits and pieces that need a bit of attention. Once you've come back from a day out in the water, give the motor a good sponge down. You can see where we've previously sprayed it with our silicon spray and lubricant, it just runs off like beading, a bit like polishing your car, so you know you've got that film of protection on there. So. We're going to do this to our whole boat. You want to make sure you get into those tricky spots. Get that fresh water in there and hose off the salt. Soap and sponge. So of course the other thing you need to do, especially if you've been out in the salt water, is to give your motor a flush. Now there's two ways you can do it. One, putting your earmuffs on and uh, running the motor, which puts it all the way through. And the other one is 
with the, uh, the cold flush at the side here. We'll show you how to do both. The best way to flush your motor is actually in a big drum of fresh water, but it's not always practical. That's where these ear muffs come in. Now, depending on what size motor you've got, depends on the intake size. So smaller motors like this, you might like to run it that way. The bigger motors that have got the bigger vent, just spin it around. So I like to squeeze these in so the, the metal's nice and tight. And before you even slip it over the vent, check that intake to make sure there's no shell grit or bits of weed that you might have ploughed through or picked up while you're travelling about. Because if you block that intake, the water's not going to go through the system to cool it. We just put our ear muffs on. And we just start the motor and let it run for a while. The other way to flush your motor is the cold flush. And in this case, we don't start the motor. It's ideal for in areas where you might be in apartment blocks, it's late at night, where you don't get the chance to start it up. Starting it up is the best way because the flow goes all the way through. Now, the reason why we don't start this, imagine your impeller's spinning around down there, pushing the water up. When we put it this way, it goes the other way around. So we don't want the two to fight each other. So we take that off. That's just your hose fitting. You'll need an imperial thread or an American thread to fit into that and we just snap that on and you can see that's already going through the system. So outboards these days are a lot more corrosion resistant than they used to be. The alloys in there have got additives in it. Yamaha actually put a Teflon coating through the inside so the stuff doesn't stick to it so that just comes out all that much easier. The big thing here is when you finish flush. Make sure you put that back on and screw it up nice and firm because it's important that that water is going through next time you go out in the water. You can see it's just a few simple things that we go through every time we bring our boat home. You get into the habit of doing that same thing every time and you soon pick up any problems that may occur and it helps keep your motor reliable and in good condition. So if you want a bit more information on how to look after your motor or where to buy these accessories, drop in and see the boys at Brisbane Yamaha and they'll give you the drum.